Hello, sports fans. This is the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Dakari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker, your source for the sports betting industry 24-7. Sit back, relax, and listen as Mr. Bookmaker highlights what's happening right now in the world of sports. So, without further ado, here's your host, Art F. Dakari. Hello, sports fans. This is the Bookmaker Podcast, featuring yours truly, Art Iftikari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker. Make sure to check out our website, www.bookmakerinfo.com. That's bookmaker-info.com. Are you ready to place your bets? We have all the links to the best European and Asian bookmaker sites, as well as United States-friendly bookmaker sites. Are you an expert on the National Football League? Or depending on where you live, maybe you're an expert on American football. Bottom line, it's never too early to place a bet on your Super Bowl winner. Okay, you're probably wanting more information regarding what you can find on our website. Well, let's continue with how our website can help you learn more about the world of bookmaker sites and placing bets online. On our website, you have easy access to the Bookmaker 101 Basics, steps on how to register, bet, and withdraw. The Bookmaker Guide is available to download. We recommend that you read through this guide not once, but at least two or three times so you can familiarize yourself with the whole process. We even have betting strategies and tips, seriously. And don't forget to click on the A to Z sports betting lingo. Maybe you aren't an expert on sports betting, but hey, you could sound like you are. Alright, now you probably think I'm going too fast, and maybe you're right. So, let's start off with the basics. What is a bookmaker? Is it a company that manufactures and makes books? Is it a book on how to publish books? Not exactly. And when I say not exactly, I mean not at all. So in short, a bookmaker is a business or individual that offers odds on sporting events and accepts bets and pays out winnings to bettors based on those odds. Some terms you might be familiar with possibly are sports book. That's if you're in Vegas, you've seen one before at the casinos. If it's just a person running their own, um, you know, sports book, you call that person a bookie. Pretty basic. I'm sure you've heard that before, too, if you watched a good amount of movies or TV shows. Now, remember, placing bets is not limited to just sporting events. Bookmakers do offer odds. They do accept bets on different events all around the world, such as outcomes of TV shows and even political elections. All right, hope you're still staying with me and following along and everything. But maybe now it's time for a little history lesson. So let's travel back in time to learn more about when the whole bookmaking thing began. So it was reported that the first person to be called a bookmaker was a guy named Harry Ogden back in the mid-1790s who operated his business from the Newmarket Heath Racetrack in Suffolk County, England. All right, now back in those days, it was illegal to place bets outside of racetracks. But eventually, the UK, excuse me, the United Kingdom government came to their senses in 1961, and that was when they legalized betting shops, allowing gamblers to place bets outside of the racetracks. Now, this regulation created the foundation of the industry as we know it today and allowed for the growth and the popularity of betting to expand to major sports such as soccer, tennis, golf, you name it. And in just the 50 plus years since the legalization of betting shops was approved, betting shops in the United Kingdom now are numbered at more than 9,000, with most of them being owned and operated by the big three players in the offline industry. You know them as William Hill, Ladbrokes, and Coral. All right, let's fast forward now to much more recent times. Once the internet became popular and expanded, online bookmaking became a reality. The online bookmaker industry catered to markets such as EPL, the English Premier League, Serie A in Italy, La Liga in España, the Olympics, the World Cup, and the big sports in the United States, Major League Baseball, National Basketball Association, National Football League, and of course the National Hockey League. And while we're on the topic of placing bets online, let's talk about the advantages. Bookmakers have made sure to meet the needs and demands of modern technology. It's very likely that you are listening to this podcast using your smartphone or tablet. And that brings us to the advantages of placing bets online. That first one is convenience. You can place wagers or bets 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year using your smartphone or tablet. There's no need to stop what you're doing just to run or speed to the bookie. Now for the next advantage, the higher payout. Online bettors all over the world choose to play online because the average payout is higher when compared to privatized land-based operations such as places in Las Vegas, Macau, Monte Carlo, and Singapore, depending on where you are. 
our bookmaker guide has a table that shows you a detailed comparison of the approximate payout percentages varying from industry to industry. Don't believe me? Go to our website, www.bookmaker-info.com to see for yourself. And as for another convenience, I'm talking about safety. It is much better to place bets online than worrying about some crooked bookie threatening to break your legs. All right, maybe I've watched too many movies, but just throwing that out there. All right, so far you learned what a bookmaker is. You also learned about the advantages of placing bets online. Now we got to go through those important steps of registering, betting, and withdrawing. In order to place bets, there are four very important steps that you, that you need to take. First, you got to register at an online bookmaker. Maybe it's Bet365, maybe it's William Hill. Next, you got to register at an online payment gateway. You got to deposit money at an online payment gateway. Then you got to deposit at an online bookmaker. Then you're ready to place bets. I know, sounds like a lot, but let's break this down a little bit more. You're probably wondering, what is an online payment gateway? And before I tell you that, let's go through some other options. Just like anything you do, there are always pros and cons. So let's weigh them. In order to place bets at the website of an online bookmaker, you need to be able to make deposits successfully into your account. Some online bookmakers accept deposits directly via credit cards. It could, it's, con it's a convenient option, but credit card companies at times can charge transaction fees of more than 3% of the deposit amount. What's another option? International bank wire transfer. But the downside of that is that deposits processed through international bank wire transfer, the negative thing there is that they could take at least a few business days to be reflected in your online bookmaker account and they are subject to high transaction fees. All right, now for the solution. To make the whole deposit and withdrawal process much more smooth and faster from websites of online bookmakers and to save on transaction fees, we recommend creating an account at NetTeller, Skrill, or even both. And now if you're familiar with PayPal, NetTeller and Skrill are basically the same type of service. Once you've uploaded your funds to a NetTeller or Skrill account, you can then use these funds not only to deposit at online bookmaker sites, but also for shopping at thousands of other sites across the internet that accept NetTeller and Skrill payments. NetTeller is available in 15 languages, Skrill is available in 12 languages. There is a very helpful information you need now for online payment gateways. Make sure you know that. We have all kinds of information that, you, that can help you as well. Loads of information. You know, I could sit here and talk and talk forever, but you're probably going to get bored. Bottom line is, make sure you go to our website, www.bookmaker-info.com. Make sure you download our bookmaker guide. It really will help you. Everything I've talked about is going to help you. You're going to want to listen to this podcast more than one time. Okay, sports fans, thank you again for listening to the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Zakari a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker. Don't forget to visit our website, bookmaker-info.com, to have all the latest sports betting information right in front of you. You don't need to go to Vegas. We all remember that Hangover movie. Stay safe, be alert, and take your love of sports to the next level by visiting www.bookmaker-info.com. That's once again, www.bookmaker-info.com. This has been the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Takari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker. Thanks for listening. If you haven't already, please show some love by subscribing to this podcast on iTunes or Stitcher. Till next time, this is Mr. Bookmaker over and out.